Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flytech. Today I want to present you the last episode of my top 5 tools series and today with my top 5 tools for making electronic stuff. Of course, there are a lot of tools that I'm using when I'm doing the electronic stuff on my panels. And there are here these third hand tools, uh, wire cutters or um, cable strippers, which I'm really using nearly every time I'm building a panel. But all these tools could be replaced by other tools that could also do the job these tools do. And so I want to talk about tools that can't be replaced easily by other tools for doing the job. Or that were, for me, really game changers in this process of doing electronic stuff. And here it starts with tool number five, an illuminated magnifier. This magnifier makes everything underneath you eight times bigger. And this comes in really handy when you want to check, for example, PCBs or want to look the numbers of the pins of these uh, D-sub connectors here. It's uh, mounted on a you know, movable arm here, so it can be away when I need it and really be fast uh, in place when I need it. I think the magnifying value is a little bit too high for um, the all-day work, so I'm not using it too much, only when I need it and I think a 2.5 up to 5 times magnifying value could be better. But something I really like here is the light and I hope you can see this. This is really, really bright and helps you to see every detail when you are soldering, for example. Tool number four is my desoldering station. This is really an optional tool because the work can be done also by this desoldering pump, for example, for just a few bucks. It works the way that you uh, liquefy the solder with a soldering iron first. Inside here is a spring that is loaded. You release the spring by pressing this button and the solder is sucked away. But I found not all the solder is uh, sucked away all the time and for me not fast enough. And this was a problem when I disassembled uh, seven segment displays from a PCB. And this desoldering station was such a game changer, I have talked before. This station works that there is a pump inside here and you have a soldering iron with a hole in the tip here in front of it. And when I press this button here, the pump starts running and because of the hot iron here, the solder is already uh, liquid and is uh, pumped away continuously. And this is something you can't do with a manual desoldering pump. And with this technique, this uh, station has really helped me desoldering seven segment displays or even bigger components uh, from a PCB. Tool number three, my heat gun. Most of the times I'm using the heat gun when I want to shrink tubes to protect um, soldering points at cables. But it can also be used to heat up some uh, wide areas of soldering points to remove components. Or I could liquefy hot glue. For example, when I'm installing my switch caps, then I'm using this heat gun um, to keep it uh, liquid um, when I'm pushing the switch cap onto the switch. When you are buying such a heat gun then look out for a model that has a small tip here on the top because these normal heat guns uh, which are used to remove paint from a wide area of a board are not so good to bring the heat gun to exactly the point you want to have it on your PCB for example. Tool number two, my multimeter. Most of the times I'm using the multimeter to verify the values of resistors or capacitors. 
especially when I have laying around a resistor which I have removed from another project, then I think most of you can't say what value this resistor has. And it's really easy just to clamp it in um, between these uh, clamps here, for example, and then it tells me what value the resistor has. I'm also using it to test PCBs for any shorts between some wires or uh, soldering tabs. And I'm using it to uh, test switches, for example, um, these rotary uh, switches. I can easily uh, detect which position of um, the uh, switch belongs to uh, which pin on the back. When you are buying such a multimeter, then I would recommend you to spend a little bit more money and buy an automatic multimeter where you don't have to dial in the range a resistor could have that you are testing. So I just have to dial in here. I want to test resistors, for example, and then it shows me the value. And here it is, my number one tool when it comes to doing electronic stuff, my soldering station. The job could also be done with a normal soldering iron, but for me, especially as a beginner, it gives me a little bit more safety to see which temperature I have dialed in here. And you can change the temperature uh, digitally here, um, because there are some components or materials that shouldn't be sorted at a special temperature and they should be sorted at a lower or higher temperature and this I can dial in here very easy. You should also watch out for an iron where you can change these tips. At this here, for example, I can remove this here very easily. Uh, it should be cold for this, of course and it could be replaced by a thinner or bigger tip, just what you need for the special job. You can buy these soldering stations also as a combination of a soldering and desoldering station. But I haven't done this because, first of all, you have one bigger machine standing on your desk. And I think if one of these two components breaks, then I still have a big machine there on my desk and I have to replace the component. And so if one of these here breaks, I can replace the single component and the other one is still usable and smaller than a combination of these two. So now you know my five top tools when it comes to doing electronic stuff. What are your five top tools? Write it down in the comment section and present the community your personal list of top 5 electronic tools. So maybe you will see one of these tools in my upcoming panel building video and I hope we will see us soon back on the flight deck.